When Imagine was established nearly five decades ago, it made a promise. A promise to provide opportunities for people with developmental disabilities to lead fulfilling lives of quality and independence. Imagine also dedicated itself to becoming a leader in the field by coupling current research with its own expertise and ingenuity in order to offer supports based on people's needs, not just on tradition. Today, the Colorado Care System for People with Developmental Disabilities is in a deep state of crisis. It is unsustainable and will not work in the future. As early as 1998, Imagine recognized the instability of the system and began planning new strategies to serve the needs of people with developmental disabilities, specifically through the use of technology. Imagine did its homework. It assembled a creative team that studied programs and service models around the country and connected with companies that were developing assistive and adaptive technologies. It also began to design technology system of its own to enhance services. These early steps led to the vision of a smart homes project. The building of two homes that would make revolutionary use of technology to allow residents to engage in activities never before thought possible. Through the help of a generous community, Imagine was able to open its Bob and Judy Charles smart home in Boulder and construct a second smart home in Longmont. These are the first such homes in the nation for people with developmental disabilities. At the Charles Smart Home, caregivers report that the eight residents are already blossoming. Meet Gerald. Due to a lack of educational tools and severe physical limitations, Gerald never had the opportunity to learn how to read or write. Now, at the age of 47, he is beginning to construct full sentences using a communication device and write emails using a computer interface. In John and Lana's previous homes, there were no mechanisms in place to foster their cooking independence, and they were only able to prepare basic meals. Now, using touchscreen prompting systems, John and Lana are limited only by their desire to learn. In the past, Chris has been able to ride the bus independently, but needed one-on-one -on -one staff assistance for training. Budget constraints made it difficult to continue to offer this, but by using GPS navigational systems and handheld computers, Chris is now able to travel independently throughout the community, including to his job in Lafayette. Like the rest of us, many people with developmental disabilities struggle to control their weight and stay motivated to exercise and follow workout routines. Rebecca, Mandy, and Ray are using a Nintendo Wii to provide interactive feedback that keeps them exercising and also increases their body awareness, social interaction, and teamwork skills. Donna has learned to use a computer and now tells about her smart home experiences through her very own blog. Writing this blog has increased Donna's self-confidence and eagerness to explore new opportunities. Now, Donna is even thinking about writing a book. But there is so much more to come. Imagine is using its Smart Homes project to conduct research on how various technologies can be used in family homes and other residential care settings. Throughout the Smart Homes project, Imagine has been committed to sharing its knowledge. Smart Home technologies may also benefit other populations, such as the elderly and those with Alzheimer's and traumatic brain injury. We are so fortunate in this community to have forward-thinking, compassionate people who have supported this vision. We need to continue our efforts, not only for the individuals we serve throughout our community, but also for individuals with cognitive impairments across the nation. The need is great, but the smart homes provide hope for the future.